After skeletal muscle damage, inflammatory cells are recruited to help repair and restore the damaged tissue by interacting with the stem cells resident within the muscle. Initially, neutrophils, a specialized type of white blood cell, invade the area and promote muscle damage by releasing reactive chemicals. However, they also alleviate damage by degrading damaged muscle using specialized enzymes. Monocytes, another specialized type of white blood cell, also enters the tissue from the bloodstream and gives rise to M1 type macrophages. They release chemicals to produce inflammation. During this time, FAPs and satellite cells within the muscle proliferate. FAPs also promote the expansion of satellite cells. Within 48 hours of muscle damage, the neutrophils leave. After day 4, the satellite cells differentiate and stop proliferating. The FAPs then begin to die due to the presence of M1 type macrophages. These macrophages then decrease, likely giving rise to M2 type macrophages, which stimulate satellite cell differentiation and support the survival of remaining FAPs. The satellite cells then rebuild the damaged muscle fiber. However, muscle regeneration depends on the timely change of M1 to M2 macrophages. With the correct given switch between M1 to M2 macrophages, the tissue will repair itself efficiently. If M2 macrophages expand prematurely, however, excessive matrix deposition is observed as a result of FAP survival and differentiation. The tissue is then unable to restore itself. Researching the relationship between inflammatory cells and stem cells within the muscle is crucial to determine how to restore chronically damaged tissue, which can often lead to death.